Oh my goodness. Other than uh, birthing my four daughters, <laughs> being the, the single mom of four daughters, um, I, that's like my pride and joy. Oh gosh, there's so many. Um, I have written a journal and it's on Amazon. Um, I have started this business against everybody's odds. I was a nurse for 24 years. Like I be like everybody's odds of saying, oh, you can't do that. You can't do this. N no, I was never that person. I was like, no, no, the life is too short. The Podcast Empire, podcast mastery for women in business. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Podcast Empire. Today we have an unstoppable guest joining us, an author who has unlocked the secrets to leaving an incredible legacy and overcoming adversity. Get ready to embark on a transformative journey as we delve into the wisdom and resilience of our incredible guest, one of the Unstoppable Series 4 Powerhouse Edition authors, the best-selling series produced by Elsa Morgan. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be inspired as we delve into the power of perseverance and the legacy we can all create. So let's begin this unstoppable conversation with Tina Solnier. And she is an intuitive consultant, mentor, and author, and she guides you on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. Welcome, Unstoppable Tina. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, this is great because we love to showcase women who are really paving the way for other women and inspiring, motivating, and showing what it's like to overcome adversities to be the best version of themselves, to be an unstoppable powerhouse, just like you are, Tina. So what inspired you to write a chapter in the Unstoppable 4 Powerhouse Edition? When Elsa approached me and asked me if I was interested, it was a hell yes. It was an automatic yes, because this is exactly what I stand for. I stand for you breaking out of this mold and living an amazing life. I love that. Breaking out of the mold. Tell us more about that. What what does that mean to you? It means that we have been programmed since we were younger to basically please other people, do as others, our parents, our grandparents, how everybody wants us to live and forgetting ourselves basically. So breaking out of that mold and going, no, this is not how I want to live my life. This is how I want to live my life. I want to experience things. I don't want to stay at home. I don't want to go to a mundane job. I don't want to do this. I want adventure. And I want to live, live, actually live. Because people just exist. Mm. I absolutely understand that 100%. The, the programming um, from every aspect can keep us stuck, can keep us, I call it crabs in a bucket, Tina. You know, you're trying to crawl out and everyone wants to keep you safe and yes. they pull you back down because, you know, yes. societal things have, have, you know, shown that if you go out there, it's scary, you could get hurt. But on the flip side, like you just said, you could actually thrive and fly as well. Now, you've achieved so many great things, Tina. What has been the greatest achievement in your life that you're really most proud of? I started working in a nursing home at 16. So what do you think I saw? Yeah. I saw people go there to die. And I was like, no, no, no. Like, really, we have to make the best of our life we're here for a very short time very short time absolutely and I yeah, like so that I think I went on a off. tangent <laughs> no no it's great because you started off your working career almost in the midst of people end of life waiting to die so yes. just the lived experiences you can learn from that and hearing the stories oh. and the tales and the regrets and the words oh. of advice, that would have been so helpful. Helpful and sad. Yeah. 
like really like my last shift or like my last week I think five people passed away and I was like no like it's time to I was there for five years wow that's a long time I know yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely loved it I loved it I love to sit there and hear them and listen and learn about them and their lives and yes the regrets and oh my goodness and and love uh, there was a couple that found love there. They even got married. So I was a part of that. So history was made. So yes, I have shivers. Yes. Oh, so beautiful. That so is beautiful. so great, you know. And it reminds me of the words with Les Brown, you know. Um, the graveyard is the most expensive real estate on earth because that's where our dreams go to die right. so when I hear people tell stories like you just did Tina it just really ignites the hunger in people mm -hmm. so the audience that is listening if this is not igniting your your hunger to be more to do more to to just step into the best version of yourself mm -hmm. then now is the time this is your sign Absolutely. Now we've got an intuitive consultant Absolutely. with Tina here. So, she, and she's a mentor. So she's going to guide you through all of this. Now you said you were there for five years. You started when you were 16. If you were to go back, Tina, and talk to that 20 year old version of yourself, what advice would you give her? I would tell her to, she was a pretty badass though. <laughs> I would tell her to follow her dreams, which she did somewhat. Um, she did fall in love with a guy that she eventually married and had four children with. Um, just more listen to yourself, like listen to yourself. What do you want? Instead of like at that time, I was working day in, day out, day in. I I was at the nursing home more than the people that lived there almost because I was taking every single shift that I could. And so one thing I would say is live a little. Mm. Live a little. Yeah. I was so, that was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear the Because at that time, I just... I felt so bad for the residents that lived there if nobody could feel the shift, right? Because we were short staff. So I would stay and I would stay. I, I think one time I stayed for three days. Oh, wow. Because there was a storm. Yeah, yeah, there was a storm. So nobody could come in and we couldn't leave. Mm, <laughs> mm. And it, it's just so nice too because there's such a... a a gratitude and such reward in helping people like that so that just proves how much of a visionary and a thought leader and a servant heart leader you are as well mm -hmm. to be able to connect with people on all different ages on all different levels at all different journeys and seasons of their life as well um thank you for sharing that that's absolutely wonderful because I know you're helping so many people and you're guiding them for this self-discovery, for their transformation, whatever that looks like for them, because it's not cookie cutter, right? So what inspiration can you share right. with women who want to pursue their dreams, but they really feel like they're not ready yet? Take the first step. First is your vision. What is your vision? And then take the first step. It doesn't mean move across the country. You know, take the first step. Just plan something out. If you want, like if a dream to go to Europe, okay. So look at brochures. We would start there. We would start, okay, where exactly do you want to go? What do you want to see? All right, so this would be the budget. So then start saving. Like I'm not saying jump off the cliff. Although I will say that to some people, but <laughs> it all depends on the situation. <laughs> some people do need a bit of a push sometimes too, though, right? <laughs> yes. One great piece of advice that I give is if you had 30 days to live, what would you do? Mm. Mm. And people go, uh, what do you mean? And I'm like, you could die tomorrow. You could die today. Like you could leave your house or just die where you are. 
there's a guy here that passed away yesterday on his uh lawnmower you know like you you're not guaranteed the next hour you're mm. not so yeah take the first step whatever that is whatever that looks like take the first step yeah and if they're not ready if they're really 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 hesitant and they take the first step how important is it to have like a support network or something like that as well? There is nothing better than having the support. Uh, I helped a client with something this week and I'm like, listen, I am not with you in person, but I am with you in spirit and let's do this together. Like that's what the support is about. I have three mentors right now and they basically are there when I need the support when I need the push when I need the hand holding you know this is it's you can't beat it and it's people that have done it and they know that there's you're not going to die by doing the first step or you know like you're okay you're okay let's do this together you don't have to do it alone yeah, yeah. so there's it doesn't beat mentorship at all like it's it's the best absolutely some yes. very great words of advice there that's for sure because we don't have to see the whole staircase to take the first step you no. know and we hear this failing forward you know there's yes. no such thing as get your ducks in a row or wait for the right moment or anything like that it's never going to probably be the right moment for a lot of people so just never. start you know small daily consistent actions lead to bigger things so what yes. you just shared then is just so worldly and so wisdomly and for our audience what kind of message would you like to leave them on today get started get started sit with yourself know what it is that you want in life like this I see this everywhere I see people with no vision and I'm like, okay, so you're on, this might be, sound morbid, but you're on your deathbed and you look back on your life and you're like, well, I should have done this, should have done that. Well, start there, start there, start at the end. And what do you wish you would have started or done or whatever, right? This, like, this is huge it's so huge because you see people doing this robot thing and I'm like why why there's so many things to do so many things to explore so many like so much to life it is so amazing if you let it if you let it mm. how much of a risk like I, I know when I used to work in age care and and support work um, a lot of them, a lot of the feedback and and conversations I'd get is, I wish I took more risk. Yeah, like, I used to hear that all the time. Yeah. Is that something that that you hear as well? All the time, it's the fear. Uh, what I see a lot is the fear, and I'm like, okay, so let's do this thing. And then I look at them and go, did you die? Like, did, you're okay. Like, look, <laughs> you're still, I mean, yes, you might've been shaking, but that's normal. And the more you do it, the better it gets. Mm. Although I don't think you ever get fully, fully uh, not nervous or. <laughs> oh, no, you never do. You never are completely no. at ease doing anything. What is it? The right. uh, uh, success comes at the end of your comfort zone. Well, I yeah. don't know. I just think it keeps going. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> some worldly golden nuggets drop there and some great advice. Just do it. Just start and yes. take Tina's advice and just run with it. We've already survived 100% of your worst days, mm -hmm. so keep going, right? Just keep going. So Tina's wor worldly advice is greatly appreciated. And thank you very much for joining us on this unstoppable episode. We hope you found our conversation with the unstoppable Tina as inspiring as and captivating as what I did. And if you're ready to embark on your own journey of resilience and leave a lasting legacy, don't forget to subscribe to our podcast for more empowering content just like Tina shared with us today. And while you're at it, we greatly appreciate it if you leave a comment so Tina can reply to you 
on your biggest takeaway from today's episode and to dive even deeper into the unstoppable book series, the best-selling series. This is number four. Be sure to grab your very own copy in the show notes below and immerse yourself in the stories that will ignite your determination and push you beyond your limits just get started, just like Tina shared with us and connect with our unstoppable guest on her social media links below and they are in the show notes as well to stay updated on all of Tina's latest insights and projects. And remember, just like Tina shared on her world's words of wisdom, her empowering content today, it is never too late to start your own unstoppable legacy thank you once again for joining us in this unstoppable episode and we'll see you back again see you in the pod thanks tina thank you the podcast empire podcast mastery for women in business 